Hello there, it's Monochrome. Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a month. Don't, don't ask me why. Linux is a land of customization. Everyone knows that. But when you look at other people's setups on YouTube or on Reddit in Unix phone and stuff like that, you always all the time see stuff like these. But you also see stuff like these. Well, these the second part is very different from the first ones we've seen and the first ones were desktop environments which is a bundle of software that as a whole gives you a fully functioning kind of desktop graphical interface. Meanwhile, the latter is basically something called tiling window managers. Unlike desktop environments, they don't really come with anything else. So it's just the window manager and that's it. So when you set up a tiling window manager, you you will also have to install other software that are required to get the whole desktop environment like experience. I've been using Linux for three to four years and uh, I have not seen many videos on setting up tiling window managers on YouTube. So I learned everything about tiling window managers the hard way. So I wanted to make I want to make it easy for you guys by making a video series in which I will be installing and setting up a window manager from scratch and uh, from that you can understand how to set up and install window managers basically i'm not really an expert at this field so i don't know many things but what i know i would like to share but moda i mean but mono what the fuck is a window manager uh, so a window manager like in its name is just a program that manages the windows that you have opened up on your screen that's pretty much it so every desktop environment comes with its own window manager uh, like GNOME has Mata, uh, KDE Plasma has Kwin, uh, XFC has XFWM, etc, etc. And all of these window managers on desktop environments are also floating window managers because the windows on the screen are floating. That's pretty much the reason why it is called a flat floating window manager. Meanwhile, on a tiling window manager, items don't just spawn somewhere on the screen and starts floating. Instead, it automatically arranges itself according to a rule or a criteria. The rule will be defined depending upon the window manager of choice. Based on these rules, I would say a window manager can be categorized into three. A manual tiler, a dynamic tiler or a hybrid tiler. In a manual tiler, you the user is the one who is going to give the rules to the window manager for spawning windows. You can specify where the window will spawn and how to split the windows that are on the screen etc. i3 is a good example of, of a manual tiler. A dynamic tiler or an automatic tiler will only tile based on the rule that the window manager has. So there is a rule that's specific to the window manager or maybe like a bundle of rules which you can specify one in a config file. After that it doesn't really need the user's input, it just does what the rule specifies. DWM is a good example of a dynamic window manager. A hybrid tiler is a manual tiler, but which also has an automatic tiling layout, kind of like a dynamic tiler. In a hybrid tiler, you don't, if you don't provide a rule to the window manager to split in a specific way, it will, it will automatically start doing its own thing, you know, its own rule. That's kind of how it is. A good example for that is BSPWM. In a window manager setup, what are the bare minimum software that you need alongside the window manager to get up and running? That's pretty much the whole basic software list. 
and the next video i will be installing the software on a on a separate computer and then we'll start configuring from it well